टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट हिमेटोलॉजी एंड द डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ रेड ब्लड सेल सो हिमेटोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ नॉर्मल एंड द पैथोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द ब्लड एंड ब्लड सेल्स एंड हिमेटोपॉइसिस इज द फॉर्मेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्लड सेल प्रोडक्शन ओके एंड हिमेटोपोइटिक हिमेटोपोइटिक सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑर्गन्स एंड टिश्यू विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ब्लड सेल्स and these are divided into myeloid tissue and lymphoid tissue the pluripotent hsc hematopoietic stem cell is the progenitor of all cells in blood and give rise to both myeloid and lymphoid tissue now the lymphoid tissue lymphoid tissue consist of bone marrow the bone marrow medullary cavity uh, and the cells derived from bone marrow the myeloid tissue includes red blood cells white blood cells erythrocyte leukocytes and uh, white blood cell further include granulocytes monocytes and lymphocytes granulocytes uh, consist of neutrophils eosinophils and basophils these are collectively known as granulocytes and um, uh, because of different cytoplasmic granules the term granulocyte is referred to as uh, referred to only neutrophils monocytes and lymphocytes are also part of uh, wbcs and uh, uh, this uh, myeloid tissue also consists of platelets platelets also known as thrombocytes now compensatory hyperplasia during the pathological state uh, whenever the demand of the blood cell increases bone marrow undergo uh, hyperplasia compensatory hyperplasia and uh, the uh, this includes a replacement of fatty marrow by hematopoietic tissue the extra medullary hematopoiesis uh, normally the cells of a myeloid lineage arise in the central bone marrow medullary cavity if the increased demand of blood cell is not met with the compensatory hyperplasia of uh, bone marrow then uh, hematopoietic islands appear in the liver and spleen okay and uh, this is also known uh, as hepatosplenomegaly and uh, the hematopoietic islands uh, also appear in a lymph node myeloid lineage blood cell arising outside marrow elsewhere in the body are designated as extra medullary hematopoiesis the myeloid lineage blood cells arising outside the marrow bone marrow and uh, these are known as extra medullary hematopoiesis a agnogenic myeloid metaplasia now the lymphoid tissue consists of thymus lymph node and spleen the progenitor cells give rise to b cell t cell and natural killer cell uh they mature to form respective lymphoid cells um the myeloid and lymphoid tissue are div uh, divided so that we can understand the pathology these are not always possible to uh it is not always possible to draw clear uh demarcation between the disease affecting them now the hematopoiesis or the formation of the cells hematopoietic system is a hierarchy of cells in which pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells proliferate and differentiate after several steps uh, the hematopoietic uh, the pluripotent uh, hematopoietic stem cells finally give rise to mature blood cells and uh, they include hematopoietic stem cell progenitor cells like a multipotent progenitor cell and a committed progenitor cell and precursor cell and also the maturing and mature cells this is the hierarchy of hematopoietic system firstly there is a hematopoietic stem cell then progenitor cells multipotent progenitor cells committed progenitor cells then precursor cells then maturing and mature cells now we will study about the basic things like uh, functions of the cells so red blood cells uh, mainly function as uh, to 
deliver the oxygen to the tissue and uh, carbon dioxide from tissue to the lungs and white blood cell defense uh, they they are helpful in uh, defense mechanism against uh, infectious organism lymphocytes uh, include immune regulation function and platelets include hem hemostasis function okay hemostasis the coagulate uh, the coagulation of uh, bleeding can um uh, is performed by the platelets now the different site of hematopoiesis during different phases of life so uh, from 3 months of gestation the site is yolk sac and the phase is known as yolk sac phase and from 4 to 9 months of gestation the site of uh, hematopoiesis is liver and spleen from 4 to 9 month of gestation so this is uh, known as hepatic phase the third phase include include uh, the third phase uh, a period is uh, by third week after birth up to puberty the site is bone marrow throughout the skeleton and uh, the phase is known as medullary phase in adults the hematopoiesis occur in the active marrow and is limited to the ends of long bones and the flat bones now hematopoietic stem cell these are the small undifferentiated mononuclear cells that can generate all the blood cell lineage lineages okay so hematopoietic stem cells are uh, um, have two fundamental properties uh, like uh, cell uh, renewal and uh, differentiation these include uh, hematopoietic stem cells uh, include uh, they are capable of cell division so um, this property is known as cell renewal cell renewal give rise to more stem cells and differentiation include the property include give uh, they give rise to two kinds of lineage uh, specific multipotent progenitor cells common myeloid and common lymphoid progenitors apart from blood cell the stem cells may be able to differentiate into diverse tissue types like uh, neuronal muscle liver vascular cells this change in the differentiation of cell from one type to another is known as trans differentiation the change in the differentiation of cell from one type to another is known as trans differentiation the capacity of cell to trans differentiate into diverse uh, lineages is uh, known as developmental plasticity now after the commitment to the development the hematopoietic stem cell enter the next compartment which is known as progenitor cell compartment and this include multipotent progenitor cells and committed progenitor cells these both are present in the bone marrow possess the ability to give rise to clones or the similar type of cells and composed of specific kind of mature cells when grow in culture are known as colony forming units then multipotent progenitor cells they are of two types like early progenitor with myeloid potential and early progenitor with lymphoid potential well one is the myeloid potential early progenitor with uh, lymphoid potential now firstly there is the early proge uh, progenitor with myeloid potential which is further divided into uh, further divided to produce mainly two types of uh, multipotent progenitor cells with the restricted differentiation so they are uh, c f a colony forming unit uh, b slash m g slash e multipotent cell which give rise to three uh, types of committed progenitor cells then uh, c f u e which are more sensitive to the action of erythropoietin so they give rise to erythrocytes and uh, c f u m g uh, include uh, this is colony forming unit megakaryocyte cells and cfu baso these are the cells for basophil formation and cfu mix is uh, differentiated into three types of uh, committed progenitor cells similarly there are cfu g granulocyte cell precursor of neutrophils and cfu m 
which are precursors of monocytes and macrophages and CFUEO which are the precursors of eosinophils. So monocytes and macrophages these both are formed from CFUM which is colony forming unit macrophage. Now early progenitor with lymphoid potential give rise to three progenitor cell pro t cells pro n k cell uh, the natural killer cell and the pro b cells so as per the name they are differentiated into the cells of same name morphologically the progenitor the multipotent and the unipotent both and uh, these cells and the stem cells cannot be distinguished from one another on morphological appearance or cytochemistry except by the immunological techniques uh, immunological techniques can be helpful for differentiating between the uh, progenitor cells and the stem cells now the pro uh, the precursor cell after the progenitor cell there is precursor cell when the immature hematopoietic cell acquire recognizable morphological and the immunological feature and the site or the cytochemical feature of single lineage it is called as precursor cell whenever they acquire recognizable morphological and immunological feature or the cytochemical feature they are known as precursor cells the next step in hematopoiesis is maturation of unipotent precursor cell the recognizable precursor of uh, each lineage is uh, termed by adding the suffix which is blast okay so lymphoblast to the lymphoid lineage now the mature cells the precursor finally give rise to mature blood cells so firstly there is pluripotent which is uh, able to generate all types of hematopoietic cells multipotent uh, have ability to produce a limited range of differentiated cell lineage appreciate appropriate uh, to their location unipotent restricted ability to differentiate and generate one specific cell type so this is cell hierarchy in hematopoiesis for there are stem cell multipotent progenitor cell committed progenitor cell also known as unipotent progenitor cell then precursor cell then mature cells so this is the diagram of the which show the formation of different kinds of cells from